morning. Welcome to Corpus Christi Catholic Church in Tahoe City. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday uh, in Easter, the uh, Good Shepherd Sunday. Again, we continue to pray for all of our parishioners, and we also pray for all those who are still suffering from the effects of the uh, COVID-19. We pray that God's healing hand and comfort would be upon all those who are currently uh, suffering through this pandemic. And now we will begin Holy Mass with the Easter Tropar, Christ is Risen from the Dead. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tombs, giving life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling death by death. And to those in the tombs, giving life. Let us gather this morning in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare to enter into these ancient and sacred mysteries on this fourth Sunday of Easter, we first call to mind our sinfulness, our brokenness, and then with confidence in God's great love and mercy, we turn and we ask for healing, pardon, and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to your friendship. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Lead us to share in the joys of heaven, 
so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be attentive. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ this Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. Verum Domini, Deo gratia, The Lord is my shepherd, There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and the guardian of your souls. Verum Domini, Deo gratias, 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Gloria tibi domine. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs in otherwise is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he was driven out from all of his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, all the Pharisees did not recognize that he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come to me but before were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, and I will come in and go out, and they will find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to him forever. Christ is risen. Truly he is risen. Christos vos cres. Voisinu vos cres. Christos anesti alitos anesti. Today, we celebrate Good Shepherd Sunday. And um, I have a little story that I, I'm going to share with you in just a moment. But I think the question that I would like to pose uh, today for all of us, myself included, of course, is um, our, how do we know that we're following Jesus the Good Shepherd? How do we know that? And I think that we can know that, and I'll try to explain that in the course of this little homiletic reflection. I want to share with you a story, an Elder Macarius story. Elder Macarius is a saint in the Byzantine faith, church, and it's a wonderful story about a young man who came to Elder Macarius one time and asked him what he must do uh, to be holy, or how would he know, how would he know when he obtained holiness? So the, the elder told the young man, he says, well, Okay, good. You have a good desire to follow God and to, to try to be holy. He says, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the cemetery and I want you to insult all of your ancestors. And the young man was shocked. What do you, what do you mean? He goes, I want you to go to that cemetery and whatever it is that you can do to, to, uh, to insult the ancestors. So the young man, trying to be obedient, he went and he went, did as the elder said. And so he went into the cemetery gates and he started to hurl insults at, these, at the dead uh, ancestors. He said, you were unfaithful to the covenant of God. He threw rocks at their tombs. Uh, he made fun of them. He said, you are nothing more but dead unremembered. So after a, a good insulting of the dead, he went back to Elder Macarius and he says, okay, I have done what you've asked. And the elder says, so you, you insulted the dead? And he goes, yes, I did. And he goes, and what did they say? And the young man said, well, they, they said nothing. So then the elder says, now what I want you to do, I want you to go back to the tombs now and praise 
the ancestors, your ancestors. So again, being obedient, the young man goes back to the cemetery and begins to, you know, lavish wonderful praises. You are the righteous of God. You are the faithful heirs of the covenant. Uh, he began to decorate the, the graves and the monuments with flowers and began to sing psalms and hymns of praise to these people who have died in the faith. So he went back again to Elder Macarius. And Elder Macarius said, so you insult, you, you, uh, you, you praise the dead. And what did they say this time? And the young man was baffled. He said, well, they said nothing. And Elder Macarius said, if you want to be holy, if you want to follow God, you must learn to be like these dead. In other words, we don't follow God because of the acclaim and the praise of others. We follow God because we love God. You know, the question I would raise, if I've raised is that, how do we know when we're following the Lord? How do we know when we're following Jesus, who is our good shepherd? And I think uh, it's a very simple answer is that we do, we follow him motivated by love. We follow him motivated by agape. So many people today, uh, they want to follow God. They want to be servants of God, so to speak, but they want to follow God in an advisory capacity. They want to be able to tell God what he should do. There are a lot of people in the world today that are like that. There are a lot of people, I'm sad to say, are in the church today that are like that. They don't like certain teachings of the church. They don't like certain teachings that are found in the scriptures. And what do they want to do? They want to either reject them or they want to reform them. And again, it's sort of like, well, I'm going to follow Jesus, but only on my conditions. And so today we recognize that Jesus is the good shepherd and sometimes, you know, sheep need to just trust and follow the Lord. And so today I would say that as you are endeavoring to, to uh, follow the Lord with a holy heart, a holy life, then just ask yourself, you know, how can I follow the Lord Jesus, my good shepherd, in a better way? And he will, he will enlighten you and show you ways that you can follow him uh, and to be a, a more faithful uh, follower of Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. And together we stand and we continue now with our, our Nicene Creed. As we say together, I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God, true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, for our sake, sake he was crucified was under Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Father glorified Jesus by appointing him heir to all nations. Let us praise him, saying together, Save us, Lord, through your victory. Save us, Lord, through your victory. Lord Jesus, by your victory you broke the power of evil and destroyed sin and death. Make us victorious over sin today. Save us, Lord, through your victory. You laid death low by and brought new life. Grant that we may walk today in this new life. Save us, Lord, through your victory. You gave life to the dead and led mankind from death to life. Give eternal life to all those we shall meet today. 
Save us, Lord, through your victory. You brought confusion on the crowds at your tomb, but joy to your disciples. Grant the fullness of joy to all who serve and follow you. Save us, Lord, through your victory. And we remember, continue to remember all those who are suffering over under the the oppression of the COVID virus. Uh, Those who are sick, we pray for them. And we also pray for caregivers as they minister to them, helping them to recover. We pray to the Lord. Save us, Lord, through your victory. And we also uh, offer this Mass, especially for the repose of the soul of Howard Perry. We pray that God would embrace him now and for all eternity. We pray to the Lord. Save us, Lord, through your victory. Loving God, we thank you now for hearing all of our prayers, spoken and unspoken. We make them with confidence in the name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread, which we now offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. Let's do this water and wine, and may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine which we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in the Paschal Mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We We lift lift them up up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Pasch has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed... A universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim sing, singing together, Song Atus, Song Atus. Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaroth, Pleni sunt celia terra, Gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini. Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, O Lord, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices for which we offer you firstly 
For your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, our Pope, and our Bishop, and all those who, holding the true faith, hand on to the Catholic and apostolic faith. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your servants for whom we now pray. Remember all of us gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you alone. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and praying their homage to you, your, the eternal God, living and true. In commemoration on that day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate now, especially the glorious and ever-Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and Jesus Christ, our Lord, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, with Peter and Paul and Andrew, James and John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sextus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Laurentia, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Therefore, O Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service that your whole family uh, may be ordered in our days of your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock you have chosen. Therefore, O Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service that your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom we have been pleased to give you, you to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from your eternal damnation and counted among the flock whom you have chosen. Bless now and approve, we pray, and acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect and make it a spiritual and acceptable so it may become for us the body of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the day that he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with his eyes raised to heaven, he said to you, O God, his almighty Father, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, into his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given to us this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a sincere and kindly countenance 
and to accept them as you once were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high holy priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, uh, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by your hands of the holy of your holy angel to your altar on high, and in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who brought this participation at this altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, and may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, for whom we now pray. And may these who have gone before us with the sign of faith rest in the peace of Christ. Grant to them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. And though to us also, though your servants, though we are sinners, uh, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucia, Agnete, Cecilia, and Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but gaining for us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. For through him, through whom you continue to make all these things good, O Lord, you sanctify them, you fill them with life, bless them, and you bestow them upon us. For it is through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare now to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, Misa re re nobis, on you stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tole peccato mundi, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Corpus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christ, the custodian of all men, to whom we in the Sanguinus Domini Nostri, Jesu Christ, the custodian of all men, to whom we in the Amen. Let us now stand and pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd. Be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless each of you this day, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. chosen pilgrim throng with manna in the wilderness with water from